look at the game day locker rooms for Clemson University. What's going on, people? Welcome back to Reef Jack the Reefer, and I got another banger video for you guys today. Let's be special, baby. Let's be special. So outside of the locker room, there's several pictures of players that have excelled at Clemson, such as Sammy Watkins, Artavia Scott, and many more. There's also these interesting building blocks of character that really stood out to me. It just kind of builds upon what you see in the practice facility at Clemson. So, I mean, I'll take you, let you guys take a look at them yourself, but, I mean, unity, respect are some of the foundational blocks that you use to build up. Now, the actual locker room itself is kind of split up offense on the left side as you walk in and defense on the right side. So, the locker rooms, you can see kind of close quarters, but those are game day locker rooms. They also have the uh, name plates above the locker room that list the player's name, position, and hometown, and also their number. Now, some guys have multiple positions. Additionally, there were uh, some individuals that do share locker rooms just due to you know the capacity of the team and also just the limited space in there that you kind of had to work with X amount of lockers and you have X amount of team members and you just have to make do with what you got. Also, the paw, interestingly, was roped off, which I was kind of due to a uh, respect thing, but also I was told that it's uh, very hard to clean the paw, so they try to keep it as clean as possible. But obviously, when they're in there dancing and partying, it gets, it gets a little dirty, but it's a well-deserved dirty. Now, there's various banners in the locker room, such as Clemson from USC, just kind of highlighting the rivalry and the importance of it to the state. You can kind of find that in different segments in the locker room. There's also a uh, kind of a memento to a CJ Spiller, who many can point towards and say, hey, that was the guy that really got the ball rolling for Dabo Sweeney and his program. So they have jersey, shoes, and gloves there, as long as a little, little bit about him. But, and also, it's interesting to see that CJ's back with the program, back with the running backs, helping prepare the next generation of great Clemson football players. There's also other guys around there, such as uh, Steve Fuller, number four, you can see right there, and then also more uh, kind of motivational quotes around the room to kind of get the guys inspired and jacked and ready for game day. Now interesting, each locker kind of has a list of standards that the Coach Sweeney wants players to fulfill. I mean, number one, go to class and be engaged. Two, be a good citizen. Three, great effort all the time and many more. And those are just kind of little sayings that he wants the players to live with. There's 16 of them total, and each locker has that on the back plate of it, the wood. So every time players walk in there, they'll look at that, see that, and hopefully be able to live out those sayings. I can see right here some of our great running backs. We got Phil, Kobe Pace, Will Shipley, some of our super successful running backs, as long as the other skill position players right there. Then you got right next to the exit, you got the exit that leads onto the field. You got the quarterbacks, you got Hunter Helms, Cade Clubbing, DJ Uyangalale. Just kind of interesting right by the exit that leads right onto the field. And that's where the quarterbacks are stationed at, the leaders of the offense on the left side. And if I go over to the right side of the locker room, that's where the defensive guys are. So we got some, some of the defensive backs as well as some of the linebackers there. The one thing that I thought was really cool is it's really cool to see that the uh, new guys on the team already have nameplates there, already have positions and numbers assigned in their hometown right there. So that was really cool to see that how quickly they've gotten those nameplates up with the new guys on the team. And we got three big players that I think are going to have big years for Clemson this year. And, eh. Andrew Muckba, defensive back, safety number one, kind of took over that Nolan Turner type role on the backside of the defense. And Barrett Carter, linebacker, kind of the jack of all trades, very similar to Trenton Simpson. I think that both him and Trenton Simpson, both linebackers, are going to have excellent years for us, kind of being able to use them as Swiss Army knives, kind of using them as a, maybe as a slot guy at times if they need to split out there, but also being able to rush the pass or get off the guy, drop in pass coverage, everything you need from a sideline to sideline linebacker. I think those, those three guys are they're going to have prime years. Now as they continue to renovate the stadium, kind of update it to a uh, lot five, I believe it is next year and other things around the stadium, they are going to be updating the locker room soon. So it's even be even better in the coming years. So this right here is the walk the player sees. They make that emotional walk onto the buses for an emotional and powerful ride around the stadium to that hill to run down. So as you can see, there's various depictions of players that have come before them and just made an impact on the university, on the team, and on the staff, and just all around great players in history of Clemson. I mean, right there, you see Austin Bryant, Artavia Scott, Ben Bolware, 
Ryan Carter, and you got a bunch of other guys that just have made absolute plays for Clemson over the year. Interestingly enough, on the left side, they kind of used that for recruitment. That used to be the old weight room before the whole uh, practice facility renovation. But currently it's used for kind of recruits, recruits families so they can come, have some food if they need a, you know, kind of a break from the extreme heat. You know, those early September games when it gets pretty hot outside, they can take a break into there. And also it's kind of just a general place to uh, kind of get all the recruits together, the families together so that Clemson staff can make their sales pitch to them on game days. <clears throat> so this, this is the facility right there with a bunch of tables you can see. It's part of the uh, Allen N. Reeves Recruiting Center, which is kind of the extension of it at the stadium. You can see also there's a giant all-in logo with the likes of Mike Williams, Jordan Leggett, Mitch Hyatt, and all-in right there. That's what players see as they walk towards the, into the stadium from the locker room, whether it be you know captains before the game or players after halftime during warm-ups. And these are kind of the paintings on the brick. So obviously you got Jordan Leggett and Deshaun Watson in an ACC championship game right there and saying, be who we are. Clemson University, be who we are. Also, you have the various years that we've won the ACC and banners above. So we'll have some other stud, stud players are there. We got Trevor Lawrence and Dabo. We got, I believe that's AJ Trill. I could be mistaken, I believe that's AJ. We got Christian Wilkins, Hunter Renfro, Cleland, then Travis right there. Got a bunch of players who have made huge impacts on the, both the program and the university. You know, overall, a very impressive tunnel to walk out of, and I imagine the players on game this are absolutely hyped going through that. But that's all I got for today, guys. As always, have a great day. Tell somebody you love them. Deuces.